Hello everyone and welcome back to Pencil and Paper Productions 15th anniversary special thing that I'm doing of director's commentaries and I, this is a director's commentary of Amy and Poochie. This is my next uh, step back into kids movies, you know, kids fair, whatnot. Stop motion was in toys, you know, Toy Story. I think the second one had just come out around this time or had been out for a while kind of really had that vibe you know I was, I was wanting to do something you know with the kids toys and they had their favorite toy Amy and Poochie so I thought well, what if we did like a little adventure and I could just walk them around it would be easy right you know just walking little toys around now you'll notice I changed up some of the music here I actually sped this up because this was it had a different musical track behind it and it was supposed to be slow and flowing with the music but I actually sped this up to kind of go along with the music that's here and we're supposed to be looking over all the toys that they have they've got a bunch of toys and you saw Jade and Starla sitting there dancing with their little toys and everything Piper was still too itty bitty so she couldn't be there with them but it's okay and then we have Amy and Princess which were their bears respectively but Starla was more fond of Poochie and here we have uh, Ellen Tibbetts, my ex-wife. She's doing the voice of Amy. Again, apples and oranges. And then the other person was her cousin, uh, Melissa Mullins. Which she's married now. I think her last name is Bennett. And she was doing the voice of Princess. She did a great job. Of course, I'm Poochie. You know, I'm probably not doing it the same way that I was back then, but he's very nasally. Oh, no. And... This is all puppetry in a manner of speaking, just moving them around and stuff like that, trying to be off camera. So they don't look like they're actually in there. That's why. And then, uh, this is the one cut of the entire movie that I don't like because it just randomly goes from, oh, I fall under the bed, and then the next morning. I feel like there's a whole scene missing, which there is. I just never wrote it. See that strap right there? It was for the strap for the camera. <clears throat> And then this was the first time we see any kind of stop motion where I was trying to show his head to move and I just stop motion you need frames man you gotta you gotta it's a lot of frames to go into animation even for a second now that right there that's uh Angela Ricks or I think well, I had it credited here as quick she uh, she's actually Patrick uh, the Patrick from heaven or hell that's his wife uh, and Patrick actually does Nick who you'll see here in a minute and this guy right here coming up hang on oh, well they're talking well and they're trying to figure out how to get out him how'd you do that to shut the door that's my friend jeremy trotter he that was the funniest shit there was that was uh patrick right there nick why can't we talk about this ah! this is the, that cracked me up for for years still does because it's so spot on cartoonish Funny. I love I love his delivery here. No problem. And, then, and something got missing here. I don't know what happened, but there was a there was a there's a snippet here and there's nothing I can do about it because it's gone. But something you just kinda notice it clipped. I'm sorry, lost. And this is another one of those shots. I don't understand why I did it this way. It was supposed to be this panning shot where they come back. I did it in stop motion and maybe it was just because it was the easiest way to do it and this this next stop motion shots actually not all that bad considering because it was just I actually got a lot of them up there but you saw them they were just a, a tripod would have helped a lot let me tell you that and then that was supposed to be all goofy whoop, 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 boo, boop, boop, boo. him leaning up on her I like that and walking down the hallway it's not bad stop motion it could be better now this scene right here, this is another one I think confuses a lot of people because I, I get, again, I didn't really know how to go about presenting it in a way that would be good and you know technical. So, but I tried to I tried to tweak it here. So they're trying to go through the air, past the air register because oh it's a, it's going to suck us in, and then of course it turns on. Of course the sounds nothing like a real air conditioner, and then Poochie gets his ear stuck in it, which then starts sucking him in. And the original cut, and it's real crude stop motion. The original cut actually had, which is that one was good. Uh, the original cut, the frames were turned sideways, so it was like you had to tilt your head to see what was going on. So I tweaked that. I changed it and reframed it to where you could see it upright. And then, of course, this is string work, which that shot was good. That one is clearly stream work, but that one was good. I like that one. 
you could see the string, could you? And then, of course, this, this little bit uh, gets a lot of laughs, you know, because it's... Nope. It's supposed to be... It's for kids, man. What do you expect? That's what you're supposed to do. Hmm. More stop motion across the floor. Those are the better ones because I took time to get more shots other than just four or five frames. Now, the Spider-Man bit... This was, I did this because I wanted to voice Spider-Man. I wanted to say that I got to voice Spider-Man, so it was like, hey, I'm Spider-Man, but I got way too nerdy because it was, and I got to go the Green Goblin. Because I really got nerdy. It was just like, I've been ready. I'm the Scarlet Spider. I'm the bee. So it probably goes over some kids' heads, but eh, what are you going to do? And yeah, and the Green the green Goblin thing. I actually like this, this stop motion bit that's coming up here with the Spider-Man mask. Because it could have been a lot worse. And I'm, I guess I could have put like a... Because he doesn't grab it. He just holds that. And then the Green Goblin thing right there. That was me uh, wanting to do Green Goblin from the TV show. I'm the Green Goblin of the 1990s. And then you saw the little swing. Because Spider-Man toys can't do that. But I wanted to, I, I wanted to play with Spider-Man, goddammit. Give me a break. Sorry. If kids are watching, kids aren't watching this. So, there, you know, I got to voice Spider Man. I got to do my best Spider Man. I'm Spider Man. Yeah. But Spider Man doesn't sound like this anymore. I don't know why. But it was all about the. Uh, and he just swings away. I love it. I love it. And there was an additional scene in there that were involved like little Spider Man toys, and they were yammering on at fast speeds but I cut it out because no one ever knows what they're saying. I even put subtitles and it just seemed like it was a joke that just went over poorly so I just why even put it in here? It's pointless. I'll take it out. See they're talking and just like what? 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 I don't mean to make you feel worse. I'm just so relieved. I always wanted to do Poochie again. If you listen to the podcast, I did talk about Poochie's gigantic journey. I don't know why he sounds like he's just he's having trouble breathing a lot. Later that day. And then we go back to, oh, look who's back. Because they thought they were at Goodwill. And they weren't at Goodwill. They were saying, good, we'll go along the way. Or we'll stop along the way. Whatever it was supposed to be. It was a stupid joke. Sue me. And then, oh, <laughs> the Spider-Man said they were going to Goodwill, you know. What she was doing, she was going to go get Cuddles, the third sister, like the witch. The three sisters now. Three sisters. And then they're just, they're in, they love each other, because that's what it's all about, heart and love. And they're just, me too, me too, me too. And that was Jay actually doing the voice of the, the little one there, which you'll see in the credits, obviously, but... Then we go back to, and I, I did stick with the um, the characterizations, the colors, and the blues and the pinks for whatever reason I did that to begin with. But I put new credits on here and then new music to kind of punch it up a little bit because so I thought it would be kind of fun. And everybody kind of gets their moment to shine. Um, but yeah, I mean this this is this is something I would really love to do again, um, given the opportunity to really work on it to really kind of build on it because I feel like I could do it right I feel like I could do it better but I don't have a story so I don't know but we'll have to we'll wait and see maybe maybe it'll come around one day maybe it'll happen maybe it won't I don't know but uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this on its own I hope you enjoyed my little commentary just hearing me ramble on try to keep up because some of these I go quick man I can't keep up uh, for a lot of the stuff I gotta say, so I'll try to take these moments at the end. If you've got questions, I haven't said this before, you got questions about anything, leave them down below and I'll, I'll hit you up. You know, that's what it's there for. But uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. But wait!